Uh, today's research update will feature rethinking forage particle size. Uh, the data we'll be recognizing comes from Dr. Rick Grant from the Minor Institute in New York State and kind of a unique study. And what they did, they took and looked at different Timothy hay, two different qualities, and process at two different sizes. So they're going to change basically the physically effective fiber, and they're going to change the level of UNDF in the feeding program. It's kind of a two by two type study, so they could look at all four combinations of those different uh, Timothy Hayes as far as that goes. The Timothy Hay was uh, basically uh, made up anywhere from 10 to 24 percent of the ration dry matter, the higher number meaning the higher rations that have more UNDF in it, and then they put it through a hammer mill. And they had various sizes that varied from uh, basically uh, uh, 4 to 12 millimeters in length. And they put that in the feeding program. And they looked at all various combinations. It was pretty unique. Unique in the sense that it was just as it turned out. Uh, they discovered that the ration that had the uh, higher levels of UNDF but at lower levels fed much more like the high quality Timothy that was chopped at a longer length. The two extremes were not nearly as effective. And so it simply says we can use those two parameters, UNDF and particle size, to adjust the intake and milk production responses and butterfat tests in these cows. And so the bottom line was that uh, when we look at the, the middle two, they were almost identical in terms of performance, production of the cow. If we had high quality Timothy hay and we chopped it too short, then we ended up having a, a, a poor her response. In fact, lower butterfat test if we fed lower levels of that Timothy hay and we kept the particle size too short. Conversely, if we went to a high, higher level of Timothy hay of a lower quality with the longer particle size, we saw lower dry matter intakes and less milk production. So the take home message is, depending on the quality, in this case grasses, and they did not look at corn silages or alfalfa in these studies, it was primarily Timothy grass, but it simply says if you had low quality grasses, you would want to process them shorter, because that means they're going to clear the room a little bit faster. If you have a high quality Timothy hay, you probably want to take and process it longer to slow it down to allow the room to do its thing and get the best response from the cow. Well, that's our research update for today. Thanks. Have a great day.